It is the first day of the record games and we're, we're out here setting up. Still, it doesn't feel like the first day of the record games because we've been working on this for like a month. So we had to take the wrecker up and put it at the winch challenge. So Tom came up with me so that I had a ride back out of here without too much jogging. And we gotta be completely staged and set up by 8.30. Like we got 45 minutes. Okay, and that's gonna take about that. Tom's actually gonna be running the winch challenge. So it's good I know where it is. Yeah. It's helpful. So this is the beginning of three days of fun. This is how it's gonna start. I have no idea what this story is gonna look like because this is just gonna be kind of my story of what I do at the games and what my three days look like. I can't wait to see it unravel. It's unraveling right now. My goodness. Hey, I'm not, you okay? You might convince me to put a belt on. This is your trail, man. Yeah. Okay, well, Tom, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, Colin and I have been up here at the record for like two hours. It's been a long time. Waiting for the group to get up here. We're gonna be running this winching obstacle right here. It's gonna be awesome. So seven YouTubers will come through today. We'll have them stop, winch, and then go on up the trail to the next one. So we're gonna have a little winching show right in here. They're gonna pull up and then they have to winch to this next line. So we'll see if they know how to use their winch, if they know how to use the soft shackle. The record's here so they can tie off to that. up our winching challenge here on the trail. I've got Grayson with me. He's awesome. He's from Murray, Utah. We had an amazing time. This was super cool and we get to do it again tomorrow. So we're going to go check out the rest of events for today and show you what's going on. You coming tomorrow, Grayson? Yes. All right, we got down off the mountain and we had some lunch. I ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now we're down here at the Wrecker Pools and this is gonna be sick. They've got two different vehicles to yank around and a whole ton of wreckers, so I'm gonna show you a few of those. Okay, they just finished up the Wrecker Pools. I can't believe how many super cool wreckers were out here today. I heard a couple of people say they built them just to come here this year to this show. So I'm really glad we're doing it. So they can come and we could all be entertained. It was awesome. What'd you think? Super fun to watch. All right, we're gonna go see what's going on back at the booth. Clothing and stickers, and we have Dave Hoarding. All right, our uh, next winner, we got to... I'm heading home now. It's uh, pretty late in the evening. The show is over for today, but it was an incredible day. It was just non-stop fun, one thing after another. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get some dinner, and be right back at it tomorrow. All right, we were out here on day two of the off-road games. Everybody's getting set up right now to head out onto the trail. So all the new seven contestants are loading up in their vehicles. It's a little rainy today, but a little sunny, so it's not windy, which is gonna be really, really nice. We got the banana right here lining up. I don't know if the more bears going out, but it's in the lineup. We've got the tangerine over here with Legal Eagle and Marvin. This right here is a crowd favorite. We've got Rory and Trail Mater. He's loading up Laura Farms right now. This is gonna be a good show. Good news, it's uh, the booster seat fits, so I think we're ready to go. Oh yeah, this is set up for Rory. So what, six, four, how tall are you? Six, five. Six, five, I don't wanna cheat him an inch. There's a bit of a height discrepancy here. So we got it retrofitted and I think we should be ready to go. You got I can, a seat in the seat. I've got a booster seat and I can actually reach the pedals now. So we're feeling a lot better. All right. Matt from Blapin Jeep right here in the Scorpion. I still gotta eat a burrito out of his burrito warmer someday. Seth in the Rudicon, these guys are awesome. We got Holly right here. How's it going, Holly? Well, um, we didn't start off good. I jumped in the driver's seat and forgot why we were even doing this. You guys yeah. look ready to go. We got the sand rail here that we took out yesterday. I think this is Colin's Corvair. Check out this Corvair, this is a beast. I love it, a two door. So a bunch of my family is here now, which is awesome. We're gonna have a fun day. We're gonna take Dig Dug up. I'm gonna drop him off along the way. We'll drive up to the very top and walk down to our station so we can run the winch station. Drove 
up to the top near the chute and we're gonna work our way down to where our station is, the winching station. All right, we worked our way down to the wrecker. It's right here. We're all set up and ready to go. When the vehicles come up, we can run this winching obstacle. The crowd is gathering behind us. We got a lot of people out here today. A little better weather. It's gonna be a good time. Go! Start Hook up to a little bit. Head 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 head. Oh, we gotta go up here. Okay, close there. A little more. All right. Close the panel. We gotta get this Okay, out of here. 42 seconds. Four yeah. Go, 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 We're all finished at the winching station. I'm gonna follow these rigs up the trail, try to get some video to show you what these guys are driving up through. Also, I'm gonna head towards the chute up at the top. I think they're all gonna gather there. I'll try and show you the huge crowds and also these vehicles going up the chute. That's gonna be awesome because this is an insane obstacle. We just finished up in the chute. We're grabbing some lunch. We're heading back down where they're gonna start doing the wrecker pools. Matt's yeah. taking the wrecker to the bottom. So we're gonna go down there and see what's going on. Cordless detailer, $300 value. And the name here is Jim Davner. Jim, Jim all right, we got you down. It is the morning of day three of the record games. I'm just driving out there right now to go check out what's going on. I think we're gonna start with something at the stage and then they're gonna do uh, record pulls and they're gonna have the different competitors pulling vehicles down in the arena, down in the sand area at the bottom. So it should be a fun day. There's gonna be a lot of meet and greets with the different YouTubers at their booths. So I'm gonna go around and check out some of what they got going on. And I'll just show you how my day goes. I just pulled up this morning. It looks like Matt's on the course out leveling everything out like a giant Zamboni. And all the rigs are lining up here. They're gonna be pulling each other around the arena today. This is gonna be fun. While they're, while we're setting up on one side. Okay, I think how this is gonna work today are the competitors are pulling each other around the arena and the wreckers are gonna tug a war later. I'll show you more as it goes. Bombie versus Cybertruck, that was ridiculous. I don't think there was a clear winner there, but it was a good competition. All right, Weston, any particular strategy for pulling this thing? And the wise words of Dale Earnhardt, we're gonna send it. I'm not sure he said that, but if he was around, he would've. Okay, Weston's gonna send it. on fire but it's just cooling it's overheating a little bit i think he'll get his victory lap in before it burns up trail mater versus the morvir i think they're up right I think now that's gonna make it work for i think they're hooking up nose to nose i don't know what they're doing here they're gonna do a tug of war backwards this is gonna be interesting we got laura farms in with rory and we've got james from donut media in with matt
That was Rory's lap around the arena. I think they're setting up for the tug of war right now in the middle. Are you ready for a smackdown, brother? <laughs> Bring it on! All right, that was a worthy challenge for the more bear. That was a incredible run, and I think it barely eked it out at I the end. I can barely walk out here. They have dug foxholes. More bear. I gotta say, Rory is a fan favorite, and he is a favorite of mine. I love that rig. He took me out on a trail ride one time in it, and it was incredible. So. That thing's a beast, but the more bear is built for sand. Things are winding down here. All the poles are finished and all the dragging around the arena. Pretty exciting. Some of these rigs are enormous. Yeah, they are huge. Lots of sand flying. <laughs> Lots of sand flying. This was amazing. I've never been to anything quite like this. Very unique event, pretty diverse. We've got old stuff, new stuff, little stuff, huge stuff. And great people. We'll show you what happens the rest of the day. I think we're going to be mostly up in the vendor area and at our booth. All right, this vendor show I've been walking around for a couple of hours. It has been packed, but it's finally starting to slow down because people are heading to the staging area. But I'm going to show you a couple awesome things here before I head over there. Hey guys! How's it going? Great, man. We're having a blast over here, selling out a product left and right. I'm here at the Speed Hut booth right now. These are the gauges that we put in the wrecker. I love these things. All right, this is Lightbright's rig and Marvin from Flex Rocks and Rollovers. And I love the paint jobs on these. The, the cartoon paint is awesome. They were both done by the same guy. I'm wondering if I should do something like this on Dig Dug or my XJ. You got a lot of sand in here, Holly. Well, that was all thanks to um, the Peck Brothers, who obviously don't know how to drive. Dropping it on you, Peck Brothers. What did you think of the paddle tires? Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> they threw a lot of sand. They didn't drive across the sand so well. But no, they like paddled down. They, they dug. Were, they were, they were diggers. They were looking for some kind of water underneath, I think. This has been fantastic. Fantastical. Good to see you, Luna. <laughs> Likewise. Take care. Hey, how was the show? Show it was awesome. phenomenal. Good right turnout. On. Good turnout. Probably good one of our best that we've had. The sun's finally coming out. Yeah. Towards yeah. the end. <laughs> we're, we're drying out and it's not windy. So it's that like is perfect. good. It'll be good for the closing ceremony. It will be. Perfect timing. Okay, I'm heading over there okay, now. Sounds good. See you guys. See ya. Who wants to hear who the winner was for the off road games 2024? Biggest event in Utah Sand Hollow history because it's Devin with Legal Eagle and Marvin with Flex Rocks and Rollovers in the Tangerine. All right, I'm hanging out with the Peck Brothers right now. These guys put on a heck of a show. That was incredible. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks for you. coming out. It's so fun to have you here. I'm so sad that this weekend's over. I know. It's been so much fun. We're going home with no award, but hey, you can't win them all. We really couldn't win anything around here. <laughs> it was awesome having you guys out here. Thank you so much. We had such an incredible time. If you said we're going to do this all over again tomorrow, I would just be right here. This was the best time. Of course, I go way back with you guys. Y'all are so sweet, such a great group of people, but we made so many new friends. We had such an awesome time on the trail. The scenery is amazing, the people are amazing. I would tunnel out of jail to come back and do this again. This was so much fun. <laughs> just got back from day three at the off-road games and it was an incredible experience. We are totally exhausted, but all smiles. It was so much fun to meet all the awesome fans that came out. Thank you to those who watched at home and it was great to meet all of these YouTubers that came out to visit. Thanks for watching.